Let us continue with our lesson and uh, we will continue with our Firebase uh, Crashletics and what we will do now is we will configure it with our Timber login. So there is a really useful tool Timber and we have previously configured it out. So let us configure the Timber login. So whenever we have an error and whenever we are logging the error, we should be able to send it to the Firebase uh, Crashletics server. So what we will do now is on the release tree. So first of all, let us configure on the release tree and I'll remove that one. And I'll just say over here the Firebase crash, sorry, Firebase. So we have a Firebase crashlytics over here. And dot, we should get the instance. And dot, we can also say also. And over here, what we will do is it dot and we have some of the function over here that we can use so we will set a, some custom key over here and we want to set the priority and also we want to set the tag so for that i will just create a companion object over here and i'll create a constant val first one is the priority so let us create the first one as a priority which is of equals to a priority over here and second, we'll create a tag. Let's copy this one. And constant val of tag, which is of equals to a string of a tag over here. And over here, we'll set the priority. And key value pair, we have to pass it over here. And the value is of priority two. And or we can just say it over p over here in the uppercase so t as uppercase and now let me change that one over here p as a uppercase over here otherwise you may get confused right and second we will pass another key value pair over here which is of tag so just copy this tag over here and we have this tag let's pass it over here so this is a nullable value so what we will do is we'll check for the null value first and if it is null value then we are going to check it and then we are going to set this value if it is not null then only we are going to log it and also for the we have to send the the message so here is the message so for that i can say that it dot we have a log message so this log we can send a message so i'll just copy this one and paste it over here and also we have to send the throwable which is the throwable class and we have all of the error log over here this this is the main stack trace so if it is not null then we can send so just copy this one t and i will just say that we have to check that t right t is not null then uh, we will go and send it so for that i will just say underscore, uh, underscore and we are not using any variable over here and here we will say that it dot we have to send it so what we are going to send is uh, we have some option to over here send let me see send we have where is that one record the exception so just call, use that one and we have to record that one so it is for let's say we have to say that this is as an e and pass that over here so this is a lambda expression that we are using so if t is not now we are checking whether if it's not null if it does null then we'll go and create a variable t as an e over here and we'll pass it to the firebase uh, press press latics over here to set the record exception and pass it the e over here and i think that's it so we have configured it and finally i'll just say send the on send report so if we have any on send report we will just send it out this is all that we have to configure and this is only for the release build so if you check over here we are configured we have configured that we don't want to log all of this info borrows debug and whenever there is uh, whenever there is a crash 
and we want to send that one to the server and what we will do now is we'll just copy same thing and just for the debugging purpose currently over here we are just logging it and now if we try to go to this flash activity and we will say that timber dot e and i have to pass it throwable so just copy this over here pass it over here and i think i just have to pass the runtime exception and let us try to see whether we are getting the same error so let me go to the lock cat over here and clear it out and uh okay so application is not running and let me try to go to the error first and let me try to run our application and you can see that the application just crashed and we have the lock from our timber so if you go over here you will get that particular timber lock over here this is that we have configured right so in the timber and if we go back to over here and uh, let me try to refresh it and it should be from the let me go back so i think i'm still over here so let me go to the main dashboard over here this is not the one so this is the main activity we are still looking for the splash activity so i have just created for one of the main activity that's working fine but currently we just did in the splash activity so i'm looking for this splash activity and event should be triggered over here so it's still in one so let me try to refresh it one more time and uh, that should be not available over here because we haven't sent it so we have not sent it because we have just logged it only in the console over here because if you check for the debug tree we haven't done anything with the log we are just logging it so i can override the log over here right so i can over override the log over here and uh, let me or let me copy the same thing from here let me copy the whole thing from here just copy it and paste it over here and now what we will do is hey what i did i did something wrong so i copy and paste it myself over here yeah i think so i have to paste it over here okay so we have set it over here and now let us try to run our application so now it should go to the send the crash report to the firebase crashletics and uh, i think the application just crashed right so i think the application okay application didn't crash so why it didn't crash is if you go over here and let me go to the over here so we are using a timber and that's not that's if you go to the lock cat right and if you try to run it and let me let us try to debug and see that will be more clear for you i'll just put a breakpoint over here whether we will see whether we are we can come over here or not so let me try to debug the application and i have a slash activity which is running the exception and now you can see it throws the exception and it's coming over here and which means that we are able to send the exception so you can see that it has some exception some messages over here and that is the tag is over here so let's try to go back to our 5s console and now we can see some more exception over here or the error log so let us try to see okay so let us try to wait for some time maybe around one or two minutes and uh, what we will do now is i think we have some filter event over here so let me try to f clear the filter and uh, let me say at open apply and for over here what i will do is i'll clear it out so let me try to clear all of the filter over here 
and you can see that we have over here the three event is triggered over here and if you go over here and you can see the key that we have sent over here right the priority priority is of six and the tag is sending that one the tag is of the slash activity line 43 on on create and log you can see you can see the message that we have sent over here this is the message the crash message right and that is coming from the over here so if you go to the over here that we are sending the message over here and uh, the data is already there so we have sent the key over here key value pair of the priority and the tag so we still can send some of the more information over here like the user right so we still can send send the user id so filter out by so we'll do on our coming lecture so there are still some of the more advanced topic that we still need to configure and uh, we'll see how all of these things work and we still need to learn some more stuff so let's meet up in the next lecture till then have a great day